Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to our channel. <laughs> a little rusty. Uh, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new or newer to the channel, we want to know where you're from, what's your favorite food, and how did you find us? We are having Chipotle, but not just any ordinary Chipotle where we go in and get globs of sour cream. What are we having today, Mark? So these are called their lifestyle bowls. And um, it's specifically for people who are on a specific diet. Okay. And it caters to them. This one right here is paleo, mm -hmm. um, keto, and Whole30. Paleo um, is like things that you can find when you're a caveman. Caveman. <laughs> <laughs> keto is very high in protein, protein and, and fat. fat. And then I've never heard of Whole30. Whole30 is like a 30 day diet and you eat like a lot of whole foods. Mm -hmm. um, no dairy, no alcohol, no like um, grains, I think. So, so in other words, healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my heart was crushing as you kept eliminating things that you could eat from it. Do you want tapatio? Yeah, a little spice. Never hurt anyone, right? You know, so we decided to do this because um, we know that a lot of you out there, and including us, it's the New Year resolution time. And one of my New Year resolution is to uh, maybe kind of be back up my pre-wedding weight mm -hmm. a year ago. I don't know. I gained like 15 pounds since our wedding. And I can tell you where all of the weight has gone. <laughs> <laughs> so this meat right here is barbacoa. Okay. Which is interesting because I would never, I never get this at Chipotle. No, it's yeah. always like my last choice. Mm. Mm. Mine, I think, is carnitas, mm. right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, this one has uh, the grilled fajita vegetables in here. I think this one does too. I see some onions. Mmm. I was pretty good with the grilled veggies. Mm -hmm. and we never get those. Mm -mm. Well, um, so supposedly you could only order this online mm -hmm. and then you have to go pick it up. Yeah. But since Chipotle you could just order it yourself anyways, you just have to remember what's in these bowls. Yeah. So we went online. So oh. Mark got us these cute... Is it backwards for me? Am I holding it back? My letter... Your gets... Wait, my... is it backwards either way? I'm my confused. letter is cool because there is no such thing as backwards. <laughs> Spill the tea. Yeah, we're all like telling people we're eating healthy, but this is like a vodka. vodka. <laughs> it's not vodka. Okay, I'm gonna go for... So this is the only one. The keto one is the only one that has cheese in it. I love cheese. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. This one tastes closer to what I would normally get. Your cheese makes a huge difference. I do miss the sour cream though. I love sour cream. But, you what know. What you sub it with? Just more guacamole. More guacamole. I do like sour cream, but I don't miss it. Actually, this is like, oh, I think I know why they make you order online. Why? So that you, you're not tempted to add sour cream and other oh, stuff yeah. to it. Yeah, that makes sense. Right? So we knew of these menu items because I read an article that said Chipotle um, just released three new like um, menu items, I guess. Actually four. We didn't oh, get four. the fourth one. Yeah. Cause... And we thought the timing for them was so spot on because it was right after New Year's. Yeah. And a lot of people, you know, are trying to lose weight. Well, you, I, it's also because you, mm. we had about two weeks off, almost mm. two weeks off, and like we just were not watching what we were eating at all. Not that we know. Well, when we're on a routine, we're a little bit better about it because it's like okay, we try to 
eat at home and blah blah blah. But like almost every meal was eating out. Mm -hmm. We did do a lot of walking, but mm -hmm. have you weighed yourself recently? Yeah. Should we insert B-roll footage of us on the scale or? Okay. <laughs> you say okay because you know you're much lighter than me. No. Yes. So we're gonna reveal our weight. Oh my gosh. Mm. Guess how much we weigh. Guess. Yeah. Comment <laughs> below and we'll may show it in the next video. I don't know. I'm not. I don't want to commit yet. I like that. Yeah, guess our weight. <laughs> you won't offend us. Hmm. Actually, Mark was on keto for a brief period of time. Was it right before our wedding? It was probably like four months before the wedding. Okay. Mm. And basically, I think for that diet, you eat a certain way so that your body goes into a state called ketosis. And so it the first energy reserve it uses is fat. Your fat. Right? Yeah. So it's funny because yesterday I was cleaning out our um, bathroom and I saw this bottle uh, or something and it was called like ke keto strips or something. So I guess you... You pee on it. Yeah. And then it tells you if you're in... A ketosis state or not. Yeah. I feel very uh, invigorated for 2019. Yesterday, Mark suggested us watch this show called... What is it called? Oh, it's with Marie Kondo, um, The Art of Tidying Up, something like that. Yeah, The Art of Tidying Up. And of course, we watch it at like 11 o'clock at night, and then right after, I'm like inspired until 3 in the morning, so... You did take a nap like the whole day. So you had the energy to do something productive from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. Hmm. Yeah, but watching the show gave me some pointers and tips on like how to organized. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I did was I purged um, my closet, which on camera, I believe you need to do that very soon because I, I would peer over. We have a closet where it's like an L shape and I would look over and I'm like, he's not worn that shirt in like since I met him. So it needs to go. He needs to touch every piece of clothing, thank it, and then go into the trash trash bag or whatever or donate it. I did kind of feel silly because part of the strategy they say you're supposed to do is touch each piece of clothing and then you say thank you to the ones that you yeah. no longer have joy. Mm -hmm. And so all, obviously all the ones I touched and said goodbye to are like my smalls and mediums because girl, I don't fit those anymore. And I don't, I don't want to keep doing this like, I'll wear those when I lose weight because that just won't happen. I will buy new clothes once I get to my ideal body type or whatever. So. <laughs> We don't know how long this is gonna last. We're thinking maybe in the month of January we'll do like diet food mukbangs. Or is this the only video? <laughs> we did go work out, what day was that? Thursday. And I was so sore. We went to the oh, hip hop mm -hmm, class. Mm -hmm. uh, it's almost been a year since our wedding. And so we went back to um, our friend who taught us all the choreo. He teaches hip hop classes on Thursday. And we're like, oh, let's go. And I didn't even, I barely made it through the stretches. <laughs> so then it kind of made, whenever I have that, it's like, I'd rather, I want to work my momentum up so that a stretch is not going to like be the end all of like, you know, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. So in my mind, I've said at least I want to go on Tuesday and then maybe do weights with you another day. And then at least do that, like work my way up. I don't want to do like, I need to go like every day because that's not going to work. It's not sustainable. You need a easier way back into a routine. Yeah. Why are we just like, um, not just going to the gym? Because that's not exciting for me. Yeah. But like picking up a hobby that's like active. Oh. Right? Like hiking or... Aside from, you know, eating healthier, is there anything you're really keen about accomplishing this year? Mm, I want to start golf lessons hmm but i don't know how like if that's gonna happen why i don't know if you have no interest in it then it's like the likelihood of me starting it, it well slim to nothing i think that's maybe the resolution is not like playing golf but understanding that you can do things that don't involve me <laughs> i know you're trying to be sweet and you want to do everything together but like 
Recently, we went on uh, Disney. We went to Disneyland, and I went on a roller coaster, not knowing it was a roller coaster, and I was very miserable. But then but I had, had fun, fun at the end. I had fun at the end. See, your resolution should be doing things that you think you wouldn't like. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try cooking more this year, but that involves like more cleaning, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, we have a ninja foodie. Mm. Which is kind of like an Insta Pot and an air fryer all in one, which is I think is a pretty cool idea. So maybe we could do more recipes using that and eat it on a mukbang. Do we need cables still? Oh yeah, like you do watch it, but it's not like enough. It's not like we need it. Yeah. Is that our New Year resolution? Is this a need? Is this a want? And we get. Rid of all the wants in our life. Yeah. Am I a need or am I a want? For me? Yeah. Need. You're just saying that. <laughs> I need and I want you. Oh, so you have to get rid of half of me. No. <laughs> Funny because after watching that tidying up show, everything, every time I ask Mark, like, Hey, should we throw away these excess bags? He's like, do they bring joy to you? And I'm like, that's not the point for everything. <laughs> I thought that was just with clothes, but I guess is it with material things too? What what should we focus on next before we end up this mukbang? Focus on the kitchen, focus on the garage. I want to be on the same page as you because I don't want to start something and then you're kind of just like... Well, let me catch up first. I, I need to do my clothes first. Oh, so you're going to do that today? I don't know about there's so much to do today laundry but that's what happened on the show having that mentality and then it's just it's doable you just have to schedule time in we don't have two little kids running around running we only watched the first episode we don't have two little kids running around see it's causing tension this is why we need to address it now yeah i think (laughs) you're causing tension secret word of the video Yes. I'll let you pick. Um, tension. <laughs> Out of all the words. All right. Tension is the word of the video. Uh, we're super excited to spend another awesome year with you guys here on our channel. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment down below, and um, we'll see you for our next video. Bye. Bye.